I did say in my video, the very first part of my Feminazi Week video, where I said that my video for the next week, for this week, will be focusing mainly on feminists and feminazis. I mean, feminism and feminists. But there's this guy named Joseph Bartelli. He made a video that's, you know, he, he makes videos where he preaches about God. You know, that he, it's cr typical Christian stuff, you know. But this guy takes it to a whole nother level that this, this guy is, you know, pure comedic gold. Like, God damn. And as an atheist, and I don't say this very often, but as an atheist, I feel like I should point out this stupidity. And this is too good to pass up. Like, I need to make this video. You know, fuck whatever video I'm making. This video is going to get some attention. And I'll make sure it gets some attention. Whatever the people like it or not. Now, this video is probably going to be a two-parter because... This video will be, respond will be responding to two videos. Not just one, but two. That's double the fun right there. And, uh... <laughs> you know, Joseph Martelli is really... It's just, just really asking for it. He is really, really asking for some attention. Well, Joseph, you got the atheist gamer to get your attention, so let's begin. Joseph Martelli here doing another video in front of the dirty bookstore, Niagara Falls, New York, talk of the town. Uh, I can just imagine what's going on in this place. Look at all the cars there. Filth, wickedness, sin. People are committing homosexuality acts back there. People are having oral sex. Semen spitted on the floor. Feces rubbed on the wall. Married men. Women don't. Wi married women don't even know their husbands are going in here. I'm going to prove all this different stuff too. I was guilty of going in here committing a homosexuality, filth, sin, abomination, totally against this Bible. Wow. Just, wow. Here I thought Richard Raspberry was crazy, but you, you, sir, take the cake. Look, I understand that uh, you might not like oral sex. We, we get it. I, I don't find oral sex to be all that appealing myself. And, you know, certain types of sex, you know, bondage, um, rape, you know, all, all those all those different type of sexual things, you know, all that kind of porno. If you're not into that, that's fine. That's completely fine. You want to do, you know, man on woman, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with you. But the shit that you're spitting out is so fucking crazy. You're like the Christian version of Copper Cab. In fact, I bet the only reason that you're opposing homosexuality and all these sinful acts is because... Some asshole on the street told you that you are a piece of shit for doing whatever you wanted to do. And he hands you the Bible and now all of a sudden, ta-da, you're another Christian asshole on YouTube. <laughs> bravo, sir. Just bravo. You're ranting and raving like some sort of crazy lunatic. You know, telling people that their actions are against the word of the Bible, the word of this imaginary being, this possible imaginary being. You, 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 somehow, God, who created the universe within seven days, well, actually, it's six, because on the seventh he rested, he created the universe, this massive, Large, large, large thing. Focus life on this insignificant speck compared to 
the rest of the universe who created Adam and Eve. This insignificant speck. Somehow the actions from these from this tiny little speck from a human being somehow it bothers him because he doesn't like it. God, the all powerful mighty being, does not like homosexuality. Yeah. That's our God, our loving God, ladies and gentlemen. Totally against it. I hate it now. I hate my homosexuality that I've done. I hate it. I hate that sin. I hate it with a passion. I hate it. The Bible says it's sin, and it's an abomination, and it's against God. Yes, the act of homosexuality would offend an all-powerful being who created the universe again within six days because he doesn't like it. Well, you know, I, I got a question. If God really, really didn't want human beings to be homosexual or any creature to be homosexual, then maybe he should have created everyone asexual so that way sex would not be needed. You know, there will only be one sex. I guess God didn't think of that, didn't he? Plain and simple. It's disobedience, it's lustful, it's effeminate, it's abusers of themselves and mankind. We deserve to be put in hell, we deserve to be stoned, we deserve to be any type of physical death. We deserve it for that homosexuality. I'm sorry that I'm born human! <laughs> Oh, oh, I am very, very sorry, but it's not my fault. I, I swear, I didn't have a choice to be human. <laughs> All this stuff is so good. Why, God, did you have to make me human? Why do you have to make me hate myself? Why? <laughs> I don't believe that anyone deserves to burn in hell. I couldn't think of one person that does belong in hell. And even if I could, like, say Anita Sarkeesian, you know, if she was to burn in hell, it wouldn't be for all of eternity, maybe for like a month or two, at max a year. But I don't believe that you deserve to burn in hell, Mario Batelli. I mean, not Mario, sorry. I keep mistaking your name for Mario. I don't know why. Uh, Joseph, Joseph. Uh, Joseph, I don't believe that you deserve to be burned in hell. You don't deserve to be thrown rocks at. Although you deserve to be humiliated on YouTube, I don't believe that you deserve to be put to death or burned in hell for all eternity. I am saying this because I don't think that you deserve this. I mean, I truly do believe this. I'm being serious. This is my serious face. But, thank God for the mercy he has through the Lord Jesus Christ and the grace that the, he would allow his son to die on a cross for our sins. Every single sin, whether it be homosexuality or whether it be a little lie. But what's going on in this place is filth and it's wickedness and I'm here to expose it. The word of God is here to expose it. Expose it? How exactly? How you plan to expose this exactly? How? That's what I want to know. How? Because, quite frankly, I think people already know that there are porno movies out there, that there's porno books, porno stores, you know, toys. You play with yourself at times. I don't see how you're going to expose it. And even if you could expose it, are people going to side by you? Not really. 
especially considering that we have a brain. We're not mindless sheep like you are. The only people that you might actually get on your side is the WBC, short for the W, uh, the Westboro Baptist Church. In fact, you should join the Westboro Baptist Church because you're already there. You know, you're you're, you're like cousins right now. You might as well just go all the way to the WBC and tell them I want to join your stupid little little fan club. And um, Jesus said people don't want to come to the light because their deeds were evil. Well, look at all these people in here, married men, whatever goes on. Whatever whatever these people care, whatever makes them feel good. Well, I don't care anymore. It's word of God, the word of God. Amen. Well, geez, I have an invisible pink elephant in this room. It's telling me that you're batshit crazy, that your God doesn't really exist. Are you going to tell me that I'm wrong? Are you going to tell me that this invisible pink elephant doesn't exist? Are you going to tell me that I'm delusional and crazy because I believe in a pink elephant? <sighs> Son, you are batshit crazy. So, like I said before, I'm probably going to make a second part to this video. I don't want to drag it out any longer than it has to be. So, until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.